Working with Mark here, just keeping him out of range. But I want him to look over his shoulder because I can see all his targets on show. So I'm just working it on him to get him to look over his shoulder. You see, when you're just starting to shadow box, it's very difficult to imagine an opponent in front of you. So I'm just stood there just to give him that picture of what the opponent is and where he's at. Getting him to have his guard so he's looking over his shoulder. Yeah. Trying to keep his tight area as small as possible. extend the right hand while he's moving because when he's going side on looking over his shoulder I don't think he can get the range in it but there's a lot more range you can go a lot further than when you stood square on plus you're getting a lot more movement in it so you can make it go quicker so you generate a lot more power but it's doing it getting it like I say do it slow so you get in the flow and you get in the flow you don't know just a nice movement it's a nice free movement it's turn the, bring the shoulder right the way around there's a little bit more square one and then back around so it's looking over the shoulder Extends his right hand. Yeah, the twist, the swivel. It's the hip movement. Well, yeah, it was it said when he stood side on, he felt like he was couldn't move, couldn't slip, couldn't slide, so just basically slowing it down again. Everything's just starting off nice and neat. Just trying to work it, getting the floor. Again, you've got to do it slow till you get the floor. Slip, slip, that's it. Inside, outside. When you're doing this in a shadow box, I'm just imagining. And so the punches can come as slow as possible, give you all the time, and just go in so you can feel it. I mean muscles, muscle memory, as they call it. I'm going in probably now with Chap, just looking for range. As his boyish right hand shoulder back round. Double jab right hand step back one two. One two. Most trainers teach the fires when someone's throwing a combination of punches or one two come straight back and they stop. That's why you go back and count them. Because they're going to come at you. Still trying to get his shoulder to look over his shoulder. And then narrow down, shorten down his target area. It's working well. Double jab right hand. Pushing him back with the jab. Nice rolling. Most people forget, when, especially when the shadow boxing, that punches are coming at them. 
They're all uh, going forward, throwing punches, but there's no coming at you. Shadow boxing is about imagination and focus. Focus on somebody throwing punches at you. Block them. Slip, slide, roll. And they're coming at you from all angles. And just have the pictures in your head. And just work, work, work at it. But, yeah, shadow boxing is another good place where you just slow it down. Slow it right down and have a look. Have a feel. How does it feel in your body as your, as your weight transferring from back foot to front foot? Can we generate any power? And how do we generate power? From the flow, from the transferring of the weight smoothly from back to front. use his jab as a range finder both flicking to both head and body but when he flicks his jab to the body I want him to come over the top of the right hand to the head so he's out flicking flicking he's thinking, yeah, nice flick flick because as you go to the body most people parry to the body which is bringing the head away from him around the way from the red. That's it. Like a little demonstration, that's it. The jab to the body, the go like that. So, flick to the head, flick to the body, see what it does. Flick to the head, flick to the body, right hand over the top. Again, when you're shadow boxing and you're in the corner, your opponent is going to come at you throwing the bombs. And my leg just got fell off the edge of the apron then, because it's only an arrow. But you've got to imagine what someone's going to do when you're in the corner. They're going to be throwing punches at you, so you've got to be bobbing, weaving, and trying to get out. Corner, corner, out. But most people don't do that in shadow boxing. Well, that's what you got to do anyway. So Perfect to have in your bum because it's more with 